This tutorial I'm bringing you guys here today is absolutely crazy. I'm going to give you more FPS, more frame times, more 1% loads, and lower latency on your computer without doing any kind of overclocking or hardware changes. And this is not one of the other optimization guides you see on YouTube where you just take stuff off your operating system. This is something completely different, which is actually going to work like magic. Now, this is going to work especially well if you have an overclocked and undervolted system, as I show on the channel. I'm making this video especially for those of you who trust me, who have been following me for a while. And this is my gift to you because it's going to give you an edge over your opponents in competitive gaming. This is crazy. And we are talking about timer resolution. Now, in case you don't know what this is, this is not something I invented. This has been around for a while. This is basically how fast Windows react to what you do. That also works in gaming. The reaction time is usually 15 milliseconds. By doing this, we are dialing down for your specific system and we're going to be able to do it in half a millisecond. So basically shaving up to 15 milliseconds off of your system and increasing the FPS as a result. Now, big thank you to a good friend of mine who is a professional Apex Legends player and also to another good friend of mine who helped me with this. Without them, I couldn't have done this. This is not something I am inventing. I just took what's on the internet, made it slightly better, and I'm coming out with a simple guide so that anything one of you guys can do. So with that said, let's get started. Now, the first thing you need to do is download the package in the Google Drive, which you will find in the description of this video. Go ahead, download it, and unzip it, and then we can start it. Now, the first step is going to be open up the folder number one, double click it and run it as an administrator and then reboot your system at this point we can open the folder number two now you want to copy the contents of the folder number two in the disk of your operating system in my case disk c just copy all the files there now you then want to open folder number three open up the text file copy the command and open the powershell as an administrator and paste the command in there now you want to select yes to all in the prompt that's gonna come up. At this point, still in this folder, you're gonna find Prime95, the same we use on the channel for overclocking. Double click on it, select just stress testing and run small FFT. Let it run in the background. With Prime95 running, you want to reopen Windows PowerShell as an administrator and then use the following commands, which you're seeing on the screen. CD dot dot, then write bench. You want to hit the tab button after writing bench. It's gonna automatically fill up the text. At that point, you want to press enter and a little benchmark is gonna start. Now, you want to wait for the benchmark to finish. It may take 10, 15 minutes, it's okay. It's basically measuring how your system behaves. Let it do its thing. And it's gonna generate a result text file. At that point, you want to go into folder four and open plot. In plot, you want to import your result file and then set the graph according as I'm showing to you on the screen. Just copy exactly what I'm doing. And then you want to grab the lowest possible point on the graph itself. At that point, you want to grab the text document in folder number four and copy the line of text, including the space. It's very important to include the space. Now you want to go into C folder and right click, create a shortcut. I apologize if my Windows is in Italian, guys. You want to go into properties and add the command line you copied to the shortcut. Except in the resolution number, you need to put your number. Do not leave it at 5,000. So in the last two digits, you want to put what you get. If you get, for example, 58, you want to put 50, 58. You then want to run this shortcut and then drag the shortcut into the startup folder in Windows. Startup folder is basically a folder where everything that's in there is going to automatically start at launch of your PC. So we can automatically enable the time resolution every time you boot into Windows. Now you will see that it is working because every time you boot your PC, you will have a little common prompt opening up and closing, and that's going to show you that it's working. And with this, we have finished the tutorial. Now, a few little extra things if this isn't working for you. So first of all, sometimes you need to have something open while you're doing this. So I recommend you guys keep a little Chrome tab open in the side of your screen while you're doing this, if this doesn't seem to work for you. Because especially with the recent updates in Windows, basically the scheduler, if you are completely idling, is gonna work a bit different. So this is a little trick I found 
uh, in order to circumvent this because a lot of the older procedures are not working anymore because the scheduler is going into fully idle. But if you strictly follow all these settings, you're going to have a massive difference in your computer. Now, as usual, I like to keep my tutorials short, but I do have to add a little disclaimer. Some anti-cheats will detect this. This is not cheating because you're just tweaking your computer, but sometimes it's going to be detected. If it gets detected, just delete it. And unfortunately, you cannot use it on your game specifically. But I tested Apex Fortnite as of right now for a few weeks, and they have been working plenty fine. So this should not be an issue even in Call of Duty. Now, with that said, if the video actually helped you, please drop a comment. Tell me that it helped you so other people can see that it's working for you. And then uh, if you want to really say thanks to me, drop a like and subscribe so I can keep bringing you guys those guides. And thanks a lot for trusting me and for watching my video. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.